Hi, I'm Aarti Balakrishnan, and I'm joined by Brian Neer. We're going to talk about DevSecOps. Hi, Brian. Hi, Aarti. So DevOps is a topic that's really close to our hearts. And we've been helping clients on their DevOps journey for a few years now. Um, and security has always been an important part of this conversation. So what's new? So DevSecOps is pretty much an extension of the existing DevOps culture of bringing speed and agility to our delivery pipelines, but really incorporating security requirements right from the start rather than treating it as a pre-go-live activity. So this really helps to make sure that right from the start, we're incorporating these compliance requirements and making sure that our code is secure by default. So in, in 2019, are we expecting a greater adoption of the trend? Oh, absolutely. So in a recent survey done with about 1,000 IT professionals, only about 24% of them said they were actively practicing DevSecOps, whereas the adoption rate for DevOps is much higher at this point in time. So we're really seeing 2019 as being the year where a lot more clients and companies who are already practicing DevOps will incorporate security as well and sort of move to DevSecOps. So we're seeing 2019 as a big year for this. I've started uh, seeing that they've um, started implementing role-based access controls and security as source is some of the measures uh, to help begin their DevOps journey. What has been your observations? So my observations are a lot of clients are really sort of taking the core tenets of DevOps and just really sort of applying that to DevSecOps as well. So the culture of close collaboration, the culture of sort of active monitoring, culture of bringing security right to the source. So these are some of the key trends that we're really seeing in the DevSecOps world. And what about automation? Is that something you're seeing them sort of prioritize as well? Oh, absolutely. So automation is one of those key things that we, when we sort of implement DevOps pipelines, we really, really prioritize to make sure that we're taking out toil and taking out, taking out repetitive work from the pipeline itself. And putting this into DevSecOps is really important just to make sure that you're sort of taking out the sort of human error element of it and just making sure that you get a complete uh, pipeline from that perspective. And I'm also sort of having a number of developers asking me the question in terms of with DevSecOps, do I need to become a security expert? Uh, is that something you're encountering as well? Oh, absolutely. And what I kind of think is that it's at this point of time probably quite difficult to find the skill sets incorporating both security and development. But the one big advantage of DevSecOps is that in collaborating and being, bringing your security and your developers together, you really sort of um, promote the culture of sort of cross-pollination and people really learn a lot from each other. And in doing so, you're really sort of making a big step as well in upscaling your people to be both secure by default as well as having the right development skills. And for organizations that are starting their DevOps journey, where would you recommend they start? I would say, Start small, focus on automation, focus on monitoring everything, and also really, really importantly, focus on creating the right governance model that allows your security function to adopt sort of agile procedures and, <clears throat> and basically really embrace the advantages of DevSecOps. In essence, we're talking about evolving current DevOps model and then moving to a DevOps, DevSecOps culture that's incorporating security at the source. Thanks very much, Brian. A fascinating topic that we'll continue to engage in throughout 2019. Indeed, RT, it's been a pleasure. So whether you're attempting your DevOps journey or translating it into DevSecOps or starting your journey straight ahead with DevSecOps, 2019 is going to be an exciting year. Thanks very much for your time.